If your socks are always tight in the front, right across here, this is a method to fix that. Here's the side seam where you would normally start a short row heel right here and go to like here. But as you can see, this is set back and this is deeper. The way I got that was underneath the arch of the foot, I started doing increases uh, in the middle. They were four stitches apart and then every three rows. So this is a very gradual uh, gusset underneath the foot. And then when I got uh, up to the hinge line on your fish lips kiss heel socks template I um, started the heel but I did not do it at the intersection where this needle was so I had a lot of extra stitches I had five extra stitches on each side and I, I started it in what the original stitch count was and I knit a regular fish lips kiss heel and then I started knitting in the round again and I decreased out in this pair only two of these stitches every other round to make what looks like a little heel flap. And then I continued up. The reason I did that was because instead of the stitch count being like this, or you know, the socks looking stretched, I wanted the ribbing to look more like this on the leg. And since it shrinks in, that's the only way to make that happen. So start with a normal fitting foot, knit this gusset, Make sure you start back in the normal stitch count for your heel and knit a few of them back out, knit your ribbing. That's it. Enjoy.